Good morning. My name is Michael Amushalelo. I'm a financial consultant, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an author, I'm a social activist. Let's just say I'm the dollar chaser. Now this morning, I want to talk about assets and liabilities. And I'll be mostly quoting my mentor, Robert T. Kiyosaki. Now Robert T. Kiyosaki is a financial guru. When we talk about finance and gurus, this guy is on top of the list. Because he is the guy that knows it all. Not to say that he's the guy that knows it all, but he's the guy that tells you bullshit is bullshit without putting in any funny sugar-coated phrases. Now, according to Robert Kiyosaki, and this is a, also a general analysis that I've observed, is that most people who work tend to only have one income. And due to the fact that they only have one income, that's primarily the number one reason why they remain poor, because they do not diversify their income. Now, the reason why due to their one income they remain poor is merely the fact that if you have an income of 10,000 and every year your salary most probably doesn't go up by much and it remains 10,000, remember the cost of living is going up every single day. Petrol prices are going up, food prices are going up, commodity prices are going up, so prices of things are going up each and every day. So what's going to happen is gradually your 10,000 that used to be sufficient enough is going to be next to none due to the what? Your expenses being more. Now, I'm quickly going to demonstrate by writing a few things here. Uh, income and then we have here expenses. Now, here's the thing. You only have one income which is your salary. Now, when it comes to expenses, <laughs> the expenses are a lot. We're talking about your kids, the expenses, in case you didn't know. We're talking about your wife, should you have one, or slash girlfriend, for those who have girlfriends. We're talking about food, before we're talking about rent, which is in most cases, most people are renting. And then you've got a few people who have mortgages. These are now basically your bond payments, your house loan repayments. And then you've got a fifth one, which is usually what we call credit. Now this credit can come in the form of a cash loan or money that you borrowed from someone, whatever the case is. So now if you look at this list, you have here your income, which is your salary, and then you've got two, 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 a lot of expenses. Now, do you honestly think your one salary will be able to cater for all those expenses? Now, your salary will be eaten. Ah, oh, and the biggest one. <laughs> the biggest one. There, tax. That's your biggest expense, in case you didn't know. So as soon as, the more money you start earning, the more the tax man takes. And the more money you earn, the more expenses become. Because your kids used to wear from Pep, but now you're going to upgrade. They start wearing from Edgar's, they start wearing from all sorts of what. Your wife used to be content eating out at Spurs, but now she'll be like, no honey, fuck you. Let's go do new cafe. Let's go do all those nice places. Food, you usually used to shop in shop, right? Lowest prices for everyone. Now you feel that you got a bit more money because your salary went up. All you do is shop in Woolworths, spa, those expensive stores. So the mentality with most people, they think that the more money they get, then they'll be able to solve their problems. But in fact, in actual fact, the more money you start earning, the more expenses you start picking up. That's why it's very important that most of us start educating ourselves on financial literacy. Because more money means more problems. And most people never understood this statement to say, but no, I'd rather have more money and more problems. But the truth of the matter is, what most people are busy com doing is committing financial suicide. So this would be the end of our segment for this 
the session. Uh, stay tuned for more segments. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, that's Michael Amushalelo, or you can follow me on my various uh, social media pages. On Facebook, you can follow me at Michael Amushalelo. On uh, Twitter, you can follow me at Amusha Dream Big. Uh, on Instagram, you can follow me on Amusha PTY Limited. Thank you so much for listening. Have yourselves a wonderful day.